Hey, what's up? I guess I'm going to talk about never is enough. Well, you think I had to talk about this again? Mm-hmm. Okay. I wrote an article online from Crystal, who was Charles's ex, where his sister said he was a drug addict, crackhead, just want a place to play some life, and they didn't even know him. I can, if you know what they did to him, it's just not fair to they did him. Um, he was 32 years old when he died. I've known him since 2007. We were friends for a really long time. We had a three year and a half relationship. Alabama and Florida. He was born in Tennessee. Um, his mom. <laughs> yeah. Um, he's got two sisters. And um, he loved martial arts. He was in the army for years. He loved anime. He taught me a lot of things in life. And I loved him. Fortunately, he was killed in a brutal murder uh, on December the 2nd, 2010. They had said it was the third, but for legal legit reasons, they weren't allowed to put out for a year. He was stabbed multiple times and dragged out to a field and everything. It just wasn't fair. He was killed over a revengeful debacle with his roommate. Um, I can't discuss anything. I had to do with it. But uh, obviously, I wouldn't be here if I was involved like that. But, um,. I loved him. And sure, does the tattoo have something to do with him? There you go. I did that for a lot of reasons. But it means there's just, just not, never enough moments or words to um, express how you love somebody. Mother, father, boyfriend, whatever. Just happened to be that. I finally did it. So um, before you start talking shit about somebody, get to know them. But unfortunately, you can't because he's dead. But I'm going to show quick clips of well, what happened to him. He had no headstone and everything. It's just, uh, look him up on Google. You'll see. Thanks, guys. So.